shell, 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 a hard outer covering of certain animal, eggs or fruits. Look at this hard, rigid covering over this snail and this tortoise. It is their shell. The covering of an egg is also called a shell. Sometimes fruits also have a hard, rigid covering, mostly made of fiber like coconuts, lychee, walnuts, jackfruits, etc. Let's use shell in a sentence now. The snail went back into its shell. Go into one's shell. Go into one's shell. Go into one's shell. To retreat into one's mind or otherwise isolate oneself so as to avoid undesirable thoughts, situations or interactions with people. Hi, Sanakshi. Hi, Ani. Uh, did you read the story that I sent you yesterday? Yes, I did. It was wonderful. I absolutely loved it. Um, why don't you share it with more people? In fact, I feel like you should get it published into a book. It was an amazing story. Uh, no, Sanakshi. I, I actually only write for myself. And, and at the most, I can share it with you. But, but I can't share it with everybody. It's Come on, Annie. You can't just keep such wonderful stories hidden in your uh, bookshelf inside a journal. You have to share it with more people. I'm sure people are going to absolutely love it. No, uh, no, Sanakshi. You're my friend. So, so you appreciate it. But, but I don't. I don't know what other people will think and Annie, you need to come out of your shell. You need to break out of that. Right? And you need to share your writings. You need to share your stories with more people. Alright? I think you should really do that. You need to come out of your shell now. Alright? Okay. Okay? I'll, I'll it help you with it. In fact, I know somebody who can help you out. So, I'll put you in touch with them. Okay? I'll give it a try. Alright. Let's use go into one's shell in a sentence now. When I see a large group of people, I usually go into my shell.